Hi dancers. I'm here with Aerial Dance Chicago. I am Miss Brittany and we're gonna do some ballet for ages three to five. Um, we're gonna do some basic ballet steps. We're gonna play a little game and we're gonna have some fun. So if you've got ballet shoes, put those on. If not, socks will do just fine. Um, you don't really need anything else just yet. So we're just gonna learn a couple steps and then do some things with music and here we go. So we're going to start with our feet squeezing together. We can have our hands on our hips to start. We're just going to lift our toes up and turn our feet out. Okay. And that is first position, ballet first position. So from here, we're going to take a bend of the knees and that in ballet is called plie. So we're going to plie and stretch, plie and stretch, standing up nice and tall, plie and stretch one more time, plie and stretch. So that's plie, to bend our knees. The next step we're going to learn is a releve. So we're going to lift our heels up off the floor. Releve means to rise up. We're gonna put our arms up in the air and we're gonna try to balance. And then we're gonna go around in a circle. Releve, turn, and now turn the other way. Come back to the front. Lower those heels down, hands on the hip, back to first position. Awesome job, all right. We're gonna learn our third step. Our third step is tendu. So tendu means to stretch or to point, and we're going to brush that foot straight out to a nice pointed foot, nice straight leg here, stretching all the way down through those toes, and close. Three more times on that side. One, and a two, and a three. Now we're gonna do it on the other side four times. So we go one, and two, really brushing the floor. Our foot stays connected. Three and four. Close it back to first position. Plie and stretch. Good job. Our fourth step is passe. We're going to keep our hands on our hips. So we're going to slide our foot up past our knee. Passe means to pass. And then we're going to slide it back down to first position and down. So when you get up there to that passe, you're trying to balance. So other foot this time. Slide it up, pass by the knee, and balance and slide it back down. Two more times, once on the right, slide it up, and slide it down, and the other side, slide it up, and slide it down. Awesome job. So we're gonna put all of those steps together. We're gonna do four plies, four releves, four tendus on each side, and four passes on each side. So it's gonna look like this. Plie, and stretch, plie, and stretch, Plie and stretch, plie and stretch. Releve with our arms up and down. Releve and down. Releve on the last one. We're going to turn around and turn around the other way and come back to first position. Then we're going to tendu and two and three and four. Other side, oh, one and two and three. And four, and then we're gonna do passe. Up and down, other side. Up and down, up and down, and up and down. Awesome, let's do it with music.
we are going to learn some moving steps. So the first one is going to be just a simple skip. Um, in ballet, we make sure that our foot is connected to our knee, so I'm gonna demonstrate that now. And basically what it is, is a step and a hop in a passe position. So we know our passe position, right? Our foot comes to the knee, and we're just going to step, passe, hop. Step, passe, hop. And we're stretching, pointing those feet nice and long. So we step, passe, hop. Step, passe, hop. So now we're gonna do that around our space, okay? As long as you're safe and you're not gonna run into anything, we can just skip around the space. We're gonna go step, hop, step, hop, step, hop, step, hop. Skipping our belly skips around the room. Good job. All okay. right, the next step we're gonna learn is a chasse. Chasse means to chase. So our feet are chasing each other and we're gonna do this around the room as well. So basically what this is, we put one foot in front of the other, we slide, we scoop our legs together and slide our foot back out. So we have slide and scoop, slide and scoop, and our feet are chasing each other, galloping like a horse almost, okay? So we're gonna do that around the room, switching our feet. So we have one foot in front, switch, chasing our feet. So now we're gonna do our hops and our skips um, and our chasses around the room. We're gonna do eight counts of one and then we'll switch and do the other one for eight counts and then we'll switch back and switch back. Here we go with me. Right. We are gonna start with our hops. So we have skip. next. So from first position, hands on our hips, we're going to tendu one of our feet out to second position. So second position is our feet split just slightly apart with our feet still turned out, toes are reaching away from us, hands can stay on your hip for now, and our feet are just slightly apart. Now we can tendu back and close it up to first. Now we can tendu to the other side, tendu to second position, and tendu to first position. Nice job. Okay, dancer, so now we're gonna play ballet hopscotch. So this is very similar to regular hopscotch, but we're gonna do it inside now, and we're gonna use something that we have at home already to create our little um, spots that we're gonna jump from. So I'll show you my setup here. So I've just used sticky notes. You can use anything from sticky notes to tape, um, anything that is appropriate for your own floor. Make sure that we talk to mom, dad, grandparents, babysitters, whoever's at home with us. Make sure that we talk to them and see if it's okay to use something on the floor. I would avoid using towels or anything slippery if you're on a hard surface, um, just to make sure that we don't have any accidents. If you're on a carpet or something like that, go ahead and use towels, those will be just fine. Don't use anything like a pillow that um, you know, we can twist our ankles on something nice and flat that we can jump onto. Um, pillowcases on the carpet is fine. Tape, sticky notes, little stickers that will come up off the floor will work on a hard floor. Anything that you can find at home, you can get creative with this. So now let me explain my, my setup here. So I'm going to start here at this um, little diamond shape. On, on this first sticky note, I'm going to stand in first position. Then I'm gonna jump to second position with the ones that are split apart. I'm gonna jump back to first position on the next one. I'm gonna run to this guy here, a ballet run, and I'll show this in a second. And then I'm gonna run and jump over this last sticky note. So I'm gonna start on my first sticky note here. My arms are gonna be on my hips. First position, heels are together. I'm going to plie and jump to second on my second set of sticky notes. Then I'm going to plie and jump to first position on my last little sticky note of my diamond here. I'm going to releve up with my arms up in the air. I'm going to ballet run to my next sticky note. I'm going to do a little soutenu turn. And I'm going to run and jump over this last sticky note, a little leap over to finish. So we're going to do this with some music.
job. All right, we are gonna do some ballet stretches now. So we're gonna extend those feet out in front of us. Flex and point, sitting nice and tall. Flex and point, flex and point, flex and point. Reach those arms up and stretch it down for those toes, keeping those knees nice and straight. Don't bend them, keep them straight. Reach for those toes. Head looks down for your knees. And now we're gonna roll that up. Flex our toes and do it again. Arms up, reach it over, nice and long. We're reaching for those toes, keeping those knees straight. Drop that head down towards your knees. And roll it up. Now we're gonna point those feet again. We're gonna open up to a small pizza slice. We're gonna reach over to one side. Stretching, stretching, stretching through those knees and up. Reach over to the other side. Reach for those toes. Keep those knees straight. And up. And now this time we are going to put the sauce on the pizza slice. So put that sauce on the pizza slice. Reaching all spots on that pizza slice. And up. Now we're going to sprinkle it with cheese all over it. Put the pepperoni on. And now we're going to gobble up that piece of pizza. Yum, 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 and bring your feet together in a nice butterfly position. So our feet are together now. We're going to butterfly, fly away with those wings flapping. And then we are going to reach down, keeping our knees away from each other. We're gonna hold on to our feet and reach our nose down to our toes. See if your toes smell today. If they do, that's okay. And up. And now we're gonna do a, a fun little balance. So we're gonna put the backs of our hands together. We're gonna reach for our heels. We're gonna extend one heel up, stretching that knee, keeping our back nice and flat. We're gonna lift the other arm up above our head. We're going to release this foot and try to hold it exactly where it is. Both arms are up. We're gonna lower five, four, three, two, one and stretch to it. And bring that foot back in. We're gonna do the other side. So put the backs of those hands together again. Grab that heel, stretch it up. Arm up in the air. Let go and balance. Lower five, four, three, two, and one and stretch to it. And back together. Now we're gonna do both at the same time. So both heels at the same time, we're gonna open up our legs and try to balance there and hold it. Pull those feet back, squeeze that belly. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And bring those feet back together, butterfly. Nice job. Okay, so the next thing we are gonna do is a baby bridge, a half bridge, okay? You might've seen mom or dad do this in yoga class before. So we're gonna lay flat on our backs. Feet on the floor, hands by our sides. We're going to push our butt up in the air, keeping our shoulders against the floor. Push your butt up in the air and lower down. You can have your feet just slightly apart. Push it up and lower down. And now this time we're gonna hold it up there. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Bring your hands over your head and bring your hands back down. Lower down, hug your knees to your chest and a nice big rock and roll here, holding onto those knees. And this time you're gonna stay back. You're gonna put your hands on your back as you extend your feet up to the ceiling into a candlestick position. So you're reaching those toes straight up to the ceiling. Nice pointed feet. Your hands are on your back and you're holding yourself up there. So try not to have your feet back here. Try to get them up in the air. And then release your hands and roll back down. All right, dancers, the last thing we're gonna do is play freeze dance. If you've never played freeze dance before, grab a buddy. It can be a friend, a sibling, a parent, a grandparent, your babysitter, anybody who's around you. You're gonna pick your favorite song. Your buddy is going to play that song, and when the music is on, you're gonna dance however you want. It's freestyle, so whatever you wanna do. And then as soon as that music stops, you're gonna freeze with the music, and you're gonna stay still until the music comes back on. Have fun.